Guys, you are now watching a clip from the Fellas podcast. You can listen to the full podcast exclusively on Spotify for free. So make sure to head over there, leave us a five star rating if you enjoyed, and follow the podcast. <clears throat> oh, I got a story though about when we because you uh, on the on the yacht day you go yeah. for lunch, but you go on the island. You remember? Yeah. So you go oh on, yeah, of course yeah. You, so you get like a little. So what happens is you park the yacht up. Obviously, it's too big to go to the island. So What's you get it another again? smaller, it's, it's, it's a tender. Thing. Yeah. You get a little tender in, it pulls up to your lunch spot on the island. And so that's what we did. And we go there and it's a big like party on there. It's class. Everyone's having a fucking brilliant Ooh. time. And then you got, it, it was done and everybody at this lunch finishes at the same time. Like it's like a set thing. And so we're all like queued up waiting in our groups, we're queued up waiting to get onto, um, our tender to take us back to the yacht. You get a taxi to your yacht. Yeah. But there's a queue. There's a very visible queue. It's a very British queue. Everyone's orderly. Everyone understood that there was a queue here. There was definitely no way to not know there was a queue here. We yeah. as British people we take pride in our queues. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. So our group, and then we see this guy in a blue shirt over there. He had like two or three girls with him and one of his mates and he's holding like a big bottle of rosé. Oh, We'd seen him in the okay. lunch. He was he was active. He was sta- dancing on the tables like his wave. Okay. And he just walks right to the front with his group. And we're there like, no way. Like, Vic is losing his mind. Yeah. This guy's the biggest Karen I've ever met. Yeah. <laughs> Vic. And but, no, but we're all pissed off. We're yeah. like, yo, well, this shit shouldn't be running. So Vic's like, what the fuck? Like, you know, Vic like getting proper layer. He had a few a few cans, you know yeah. what I mean? So he's going over and he's like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, what says we shouldn't let this happen? And we had JJ's bodyguard, Steve, with us, a security. And Steve is like, yeah, well, this this is definitely not going to fucking happen if I'm here. So he goes over to the guy. He's like, hey, man, like, there's a queue here. R- respectfully, just telling him, yeah, there's a queue here. And the guy's like, he, he, as soon as I heard his voice, it was like that, you know, like a wanker British. Yeah old money yeah pagan okay yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah i got it and I was there like, and yeah and so steve's like you gotta go back he's like no 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 i prepaid for mine and we're there like bro there's no prepay this is a free service that this restaurant offers to go back to your boat that's you just can't, you're just saying that bullshit together and he's like no 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 anyway so we were we were second in line to get on the boat so in front of us was was another group it was actually gary cahill and his i guess family and friends yeah um, and so we see the tender coming back to come pick up the ne- uh, his group, which is supposed to be next. But this guy keeps trying to butt in. So this tender pulls up and the guy tries to get in. And Steve's like, like no, you're not getting in <laughs> like this. And we tell like Gary's here, like, get in, get in the boat now quickly before he, him and his, all, all his mates jump in. So they managed to get in. And this guy is like switching. He's like, man, you don't know. I've got a flight to catch. Like all this shit. And they're like, mate, who the fuck are you kidding? You're on an island in Ibiza with a massive bottle of wine. Yeah. You don't have a flight to catch. You know, nobody's that buying shit. your shit. But he's starting to get more and more angry because he's realized. So he's lost this. That group goes. And now the tender's coming back. Oh. And this time it's our group's turn to oh, go on. We're and cooking. it's this guy. But this guy is not given up because he's got a few girls with him he is looking like a cock right now he's in he, he's he's been cocked up and so we're there like there's no way this guy is getting on so as soon as this tender pulls up we're also like fucking yeah scuttle towards the thing as quickly as possible this guy try, gets like one foot in and steve hmm. but let, let me tell you like, it's people that don't know steve is like bro, it must be like six eight built like a fucking unit like you just you don't fuck with steve picks him up takes him out the boat, puts him down. We all, <laughs> we all jump in this boat. And at this point, he's been, this, this guy's been so emasculated. He's switching. He's, he's like, what the fuck? Like, fuck you guys. Like all this. And we're just like, why? Like, we, we all, there's still a queue. Like, you still got to get to the back of the queue. And we, we all jump in. And um, he's there like, oh, yeah. And he, he recognized JJ, KSI. He goes, yeah, KSI, man, you got a small little cock. And he, he's coming right up to us like this. And Steve <laughs> just pushes him like this. And the guy goes flying. He, he's in this water. Like, he doesn't, Steve doesn't even like push him. He just like gives him an arm to say, you're not coming in the boat. And this guy just got fucking yeeted. It was, it was so embarrassing for this guy. Yeah, <laughs> it was so embarrassing for this guy. And it, we're and then as the tender's leaving with all of us headed to our boat, everyone's going cheerio, cheer like as he's on the thingy, he's so humiliated. All the groups lined up were laughing at him and all this because we were doing everybody a favor. This guy didn't queue at all. Yeah. 
So we just left it there. Cheerio, cheerio. And he's going, yeah, you got a small cock like this. He's going like that. You got a tiny little cock. And we're all there just laughing at him. Bro, he, I know he got no pussy that night. Oh. It, the girls that were with him, they ain't going. Like, that, it was like one of those experiences. They're like, I couldn't think how that could have ended worse for that guy. Damn, man. That's a historic battle. That is, yeah. Steve clutched the Battle of Hastings man. type beat. Fuck. <laughs> So wow. anyways, that happened. <clears throat> and then the final day, what we do on the final day? Oh, we went go-karting. Nice. Go-karting. They got a good track there. It's a small one, but it was a fun track. Yeah. It was really fun. Um, I felt bad. Like Harry obviously rocked up and expected to smoke everyone. Like he's definitely the best carter there. Um, he, but he did the, the first one, I, I, he just didn't, the, the carts were like, it, it was very much depending on what cart you look. Put it this way. I smoked everybody. In the first one, yeah. Oh, and I, I was actually, I actually got the fifth fastest, I think, or the sixth fastest time that week. Oh, so I was you flying, cooking, bro. You yeah, was I was, cooking. I was flying. I, I, I channeled my inner rivers. Right what now. was Luke saying? So he, he, bro, he was on his deathbed. But did he, man, base? he 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 got in and like just respect, man. He just made it round, and then as soon as he was done, he just went and slept in the car. Um, because what happened, but then the second, the second race that we did, uh, Vic ended up winning it. Oh. He was the fastest. Yeah. Vic cooking. Yeah. That little 60 kg torpedo. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So he won it and, and you had to get below a certain time and they would let you in there. What they called their formula one cart. They only have one of them. And so you can go around separately and just try to set some times in this formula. It's like a D max, but a little bit more on steroids around this tiny track like a bro and it was is it flying around this Fuck. thing wow and oh that sounds was, good you cool. know yeah so he because he got the, the the quickest time he got to go and, and also is it stag as well you know that's a good so idea that, they, they should do that and he, and he um set a slower time than in the normal cut because he was so scared <laughs> oh they are to be fair when you first get them and they're a bit like whoa this is fucking yeah. fast so we did the car and then we now, had, how are you going to go slower in a, in a, in a yeah I know that's what we're there because we had to wait an extra half an hour be, in, before he, he could get on to then go on for 15 minutes and we're like bro we waited an hour for you to do nothing in this car were you guys watching it go around yeah. and like whoa we're, yeah we're there like what the hell is this so yeah uh, anyway, then we had some yoga I yep. went and played some golf and the final night we went to see David Getter man oh shit where was that Club High. Yeah, okay. And that was sick. And how lo what time did you stay out till on the final night? <sighs> so we had our flight at 9.30. I was out, I think. I think 9.30 a.m.? Yeah. <sighs> well, no, we, we had to be up. We were leaving the villa at 9.30. Yep. But it because, private it, because it was though. private, you could just like rock up and we just went on. Yeah. And then you just leave. And then everyone was asleep on the plane on the way back. I seen the picture. Oh, everyone was finished on that plane how long was the flight and when he fly private yeah i didn't realize this right but private planes are just are quicker than your normal flight because they fly a higher altitude like by like ten thousand feet why huh why Be is that I, I think they just can okay I, I, their planes are, i'm not sure what the reason is for that but like type in can you just type in uh i'm curious just put um london gatwick no london heathrow to Ibiza flight time because I can tell you ours was literally exactly two hours. Yeah, so I, so the private jet flies 30 minutes quicker. Damn. Because well, you fly at a, a higher altitude, which is just crazy. I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought it would just be the same time. So there you go. Why so, can private jets fly higher? Yeah. <clears throat> Commercial aircraft typically <laughs> carry more fuel and are heavier. So that's why. So was there any things that happened on the stag that are like stag type things? So obviously yeah. there was drinking and partying and all the cool yeah. shit. No, what? there was. Like, we, we had Vic. You know, you know what? It wasn't like feral because I know what Vic's like. Yeah, right? he Vic is not that guy. Yeah. Right. He is not like, if it was your stag, oh, I let it be known, no, bro. It's, I don't a, di want it's a different that. story. I'll, I'll, I'll take one like Vic's. Because I wanted Vic to also have a good time. And also I wanted everyone, because if everyone's spending a lot of money on this trip, everybody needs to have a good time. That's true. Um, yep, so true. there was definitely some stuff and we had like a list and every morning he had to roll the dice and whatever it landed on, he had to do what was on that list. And so there, there was a few, I, I don't want to go into, to like all the like the individual shit because it's just one of those things i feel like something should be left private but uh it, we played that game that was a really fun one and he had some funny shit happen to him um, he had a pair of shoes that got customized in in, a, in an outrageous way that he yeah wear. i think i saw some yeah. of that, about that but we'll keep that one 
Yeah. Get that one of a locker, maybe a couple of years from now. But yeah, man, overall stag deal. <laughs> I loved it. And you know what the, the best thing was is that everybody messaged me after or during to say like they had a sick time. Cause that's what I was stressed about was that like, there's a lot of pressure. This is the first stag dude the boys have been on mm. or the first tag dude within the group that the boys have been on. So it, as long as everybody had a good time, I think Vic definitely got away with it though. Mm. Like in terms of he didn't have outrageous shit happen to him, Yeah, but he no, also, no, like, he's not the guy, like he would have just said no. When he was yeah. on the pod, he did say he didn't want to have anything that was going to ruin his week happen to him. No, nah, but, but it was like, even some of the stuff that I had in mind wasn't like week ruining, but there was just stuff. He's very, um, What's the word like brand conscious? Mm, yeah, he yeah. he is to be fair for Vic. I remember one time he posted a brand deal on Instagram and uh, I think it was about him like investing or buying into London Royal Ra Ravens. Royal yeah. Ravens. And I commented saying, um, local hot milfs want to fuck this man. <laughs> <laughs> and he deleted the comment. No way. <laughs> I pulled him up. I was like, mate, that was such a good comment. It was flying. <laughs> he was like, bro, man, brand safety. I was like, yeah. fair enough, bro. He's just, he's, he's just, just like a hustler, that. man. He's on his grind nonstop 24 seven. And that's what Vic Star does. Congratulations, Vic. On, yeah. he's, he's not married yet. Uh, no, no, the no. Stag. pending, pending, pending. 